Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is December the 12th of 2022 and I'd like to share with you another word from the Lord today. I thank you all for continuing to follow my channel, to encourage me with your comments, letting me know that you are being blessed by these words you are hearing. Unfortunately, I am not able to read all the comments and to keep up with it, but I do appreciate that you are interacting on this channel with one another that we can all be an encouragement to each other in this day. Welcome to those of you who are here for the first time. May the Lord bless you as you listen to this word. As usual, the Lord is speaking once again about his plan of how he is building his church in this day, a church not built by the hands of men, but built by the Lord himself, who is the master architect and builder. The Lord has been speaking about his heart of outreach to the nations. And in this word today, the Lord reminds us that this is his master plan to reach the lost, to bring healing and salvation to the nations. But the Lord is also speaking about his heart to bring healing to his people because his people have been under attack by the enemy. And the Lord's heart is to bring his people into a land flowing with milk and honey. God's heart is to bless his people and to bless the nations. I hope you will be encouraged by this word today. This word is titled, Turning a Nation. I'll begin by reading scripture. James 1 verse 17, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. This scripture speaks of the goodness of God, the good gifts that God has for those who belong to him. Psalm 133 verses 1 through 3. Behold how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head, running down on the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. This scripture passage speaks of the unity that the Lord honors and tells us that the result of unity is the release of God's blessing upon the people. I'll begin reading this word. Open your eyes, open your heart. The time of your release is not far off, for I will come when you are down to heal the wounds, to grant you peace, freedom from the oppressor, says the Lord. You will see that I am a God of love and that I am pouring out my love upon the nations. Righteousness shall reign, for I am taking down all the idols in the land. My hand is opened wide to catch those who fall. Whoever calls upon my name will receive my love and affirmation. I will share my glory with no man. All eyes and hearts shall be focused on me. I am the one who will turn a nation steeped in sin into a holy nation called by the name of the Lord. I am the one who will eradicate sin from the lives of the people. 
I am the one and there is no other who is able. So put your trust in me alone and I will do for you what I promised your forefathers to bring them into a land flowing with milk and honey. Regarding issues concerning outreach, I will give you the details, says the Lord, one by one. I will guide you every step of the way. What is impossible in the natural is possible for the Lord. He can turn water into wine and is able to cause the sun to stand still. Who is like the Lord? Who compares with him? No one, no one is able to do what he is able to do. He is able to bring healing and salvation. Gather in my name and wait on me. I will show up to astound you, says the Lord. I will come into your gathering, handing out gifts to everyone present. Not one will go away empty-handed. I am the giver of all good and perfect gifts, and I want to bless my people with healing and salvation, packages of love dumped upon their laps. Do not be discouraged. A small beginning comes before the increase. I will bless the efforts of your hands to gather the people. You will see increase. You will see how I put things together, how I unite a group of people to serve the Lord in perfect unity. Where there is unity, my blessing will be released, says the Lord. Gather the people and point them to me, and I will do the rest. Watch and see what I do in your midst. Even in this day, I will do something so special. You will know that I am at work to set the captives free, bring sight to the blind, and to raise up a people whose hearts are set on the Lord. Let my spirit move amongst you. Do not box it in, but let it move freely. I am at work to take down barriers, walls of division between the people. My love will be poured out in such abundance that they will not be able to resist it. They will begin to love one another and the joy will come. There will be rejoicing in the house of the Lord, for the joy of the Lord shall be poured out. Pray without ceasing. Pray for those who come into the gathering. Lay hands on them and bless them. I am establishing a group of people who will be instrumental to bringing in the harvest. I am at work bringing the ones of my choosing into the inner circle, touching them and drawing them in. This is the church I promised I would build, says the Lord. This is the body I am raising up. I am establishing core groups who will be instrumental in the work of the harvest. Each one will be integral to the work. Watch and see what I do. This church shall be a lighthouse to the lost, a beacon of light that shines into the community to direct the lost to safety. I have ordained the establishment of this unit. It is a frontline unit, and its ministry will be on the front lines. You will see how I unify the group into a powerful entity that will take in the wounded and nurse and nurture them into wholeness. You will see how the unit works effectively to bring healing and salvation to the lives of the people. Every gift needed for the work of the ministry will be functioning. One will do one job, the next will do another. Each one will be used as part of the team. These are the pillars who will form the framework for the structure. It is a building not built by the hands of men, but by the Lord. 
Watch and see how the building goes up, how the framework is put into place, says the Lord. As we can see in this word today, the Lord is telling us about his strategy to reach the lost, to bring in the harvest. He's telling us that he is forming tight-knit units who will work together in unity to love and nurture and to bring wholeness to those coming in to the household of God. The Lord is telling us that he is pouring out his love and that no one will be able to resist it, that the barriers and divisions between the people will come down. The Lord is telling us that as we gather together with one another in his name, he will be there and he will release his good gifts to his people, healing and his blessings of joy and love for one another. As we wait on him, he will show up and manifest his presence amongst us. The Lord is telling us that this is his plan to bring the nations to himself, to turn a nation steeped in sin into a holy nation that honors the Lord. The Lord wants to heal our wounds and to free us from the oppressor, to bring us into his great abundance in this day. We can all be encouraged that the Lord loves us. He cares about our situations. He wants to heal us. He wants to bless us. He wants to pour out his love upon us. And he wants us to come into an abundance of his joy in this day. May we come together as his people, gathering in his name and expecting great things from him, because this is the heart of our God. And this is his plan to turn the hearts of the nations to him. I hope this word will bless you today and that the joy and peace of the Lord will be poured out upon you, that you will be encouraged in the Lord, that he is a great God who cares for his people and has an abundance of good things in store for us. Be blessed. Thank you for listening today. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Have a great afternoon. Bye for now.